Hello everyone, welcome back to the Climbing Nomads YouTube channel. Um, so we're going to talk about different types of chalk today. Obviously if you're an experienced climber you probably know all this, so maybe skip this one. But uh, for newbies or people which haven't used the different types of chalk before, um, hopefully you'll find this interesting. We're going to start off um, with a chalk ball. So this is a, a ball with, with essentially chalk inside. Um, this one's been used quite a bit, so it's shrunk down a little bit. Um, a lot of climbing walls will only let you climb routes using a chalk ball. And the reason for this is if you have loose chalk in your chalk bag and you fall off, you can often make big plumes of chalk into the atmosphere. Um, and that can aggravate some people with allergies and it means that they have a lot more clearing up to do at the climb walls. So a lot of climb walls they need that you use the chalk ball. The chalk balls, um, you, you get the ball and you keep it in the bag and then you you sque squeeze the ball in your hand and it gives you quite a light coverage of chalk on your, on your hands. You don't get a really thick coating of chalk but you also, you don't tend to lose chalk everywhere. It doesn't blow around or spray about. Um, so I keep a chalk ball in my root climbing bag, um, I find it helps keep the chalk in there. I do sneak a bit of loose chalk in there as well, um, but I find the chalk, having the chalk ball in there helps keep the loose chalk in the bag itself. It sort of helps stop it blowing out of the, the chalk bag itself. Um, the disadvantage with the chalk ball is it can be, if you've got really, really sweaty hands, it can be hard to get a really good coating of chalk on the, on them. Um, so particularly when I'm bouldering, uh, I tend to use mainly loose chalk. So this comes in um, either either a very fine loose chalk or a chunky loose chalk. I prefer the chunkier one. I find that just a little bit better for me, but that's personal preference. If you're bouldering, then quite like having a big boulder bucket full of loose chalk, you can get a really good, quite a much thicker coating on your on your hands and really be able to rub that in. So loose chalk definitely helps with getting a bit more chalk on your hands. Um, if I'm bouldering I'll often only use only use my boulder bucket um, because I won't have time normally to chalk up mid route. So, yeah, having a really good bit of chalk on your hands before setting off can just help them last through all the moves of a, of a boulder problem. Next up, um, we've got liquid chalk. So liquid chalk is kind of a, it's chalk within, I think it's some kind of alcohol solution or something. Um, so you get out, this one's a bit old, but you, you get it out and you squidge it on your hands and then rub your hands together And then leave them to dry for a minute. Oh, I'll put quite a lot on. And then you, yeah. you can see the magic unfold. So liquid chalk, I find tends to last a little bit longer. Um, it, it's a really, that alcohol solution also just sort of dries my hands out. It gets rid of that sweat and then the chalk dries onto the hands. And find that I can do quite a few moves with these before the chalk wears off. The disadvantage is, it's a bit of a faff. I certainly can't really be bothered to go through it every time I try a boulder problem or, or something like that. Um, but what I tend to do is save, maybe save the liquid chalk for like the red point attempt or when I know that I can do all the moves and I'm really going for the send and I just need that little bit extra. Um, if it's a hot day and my hands are really sweaty, then uh, yeah, the liquid chalk can just just lasts that little bit longer than some of the other powdered chalks. So, so that's it. So you got your, oh, you got your chalk balls, which uh, give you a little bit of chalk, but then they're, they're less messy. Your loose chalk, which kind of gives you a reasonably good coverage, and is kind of what I use most. And then the liquid chalk, which is a bit more of a faff, but gives you that little bit extra 
time climbing before the chalk wears out. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys found this video kind of useful. Maybe let us know what, what kind of chalk you will find works best. We haven't talked about different brands of chalk on this because that's a whole other video which we might do at some stage, but yeah. Hope you found it useful and if you haven't already, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.